Okay, here we go again. Another stream. Hello, hello, everybody. Today, another stream of Arena. Might be last one. Although I did to say, say, say the same thing last time, but you know, I think now, now, now I'm a bit getting closer. I think now we're getting there. Today is the day. I never tell Mitrel. Finishing Arena today? Well, that, that is the question of the day. Can I finish it today? We'll see, we'll see. I, I said I would finish it yesterday, but, um, you know, here we are. Still playing Arena, so. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that's about it, that's about it. Hope, hopefully everybody's enjoying it Saturday. I know I am. I'll have to play Arena. <laughs> it's it's fun game, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's just, let's just start it right away so I can, you know, finish this game. Get it done. Let's get it here on screen in a second. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's load it up. So yesterday we finally reached a red mountain. This actually done it, done it right safe. There we go. This should be a right place, yes. So yeah, I thought that the was staff part would be on the second level of the dungeon, uh, dungeon but uh, guess not. So let's search this next level here. As you enter the level, a wave of sulfurous air hits you. A roaring sound can be heard as some great conflagration lies ahead. They are around you shimmers with heat. Sure. But I do need to rest here. I have no mana. Oh, then it goes well. Okay, let's try again. Really, we have demons, homunculus. <sighs> no mana for the shield spell, let's cast the lesser one. That's probably every time I try to rest, there's some uh, tough enemy that I need to cast buffs on, and all the mana I try to get back, I just like Im immediately lose because the buffs. Right, well, here we go. And now I get the full rest. Alright, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll put a pop, 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 let's overwrite that one. Shielded. Let's get some massacre resistance there. Oh, these guys just like appear out of nowhere. I actually read the manual a bit more, like I said, these guys are actually like uh Weak against shock damage, I just don't have any shock spells. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate, but hey, whatever. I'll just try to check if the maces do any kind of like different damage type. Some enemies are just weak against, or like a strong against, or have, well, let's say, they have a resistance against aged weapons like blades, like skeletons have that, but I think beyond that, they, they really ain't like a different damage types between weapons, so... Some enemies have some resistance to certain weapon types, but there's no like plant damage, uh, you know, slashing damage, piercing damage, and so, so on. Unless it's hidden somewhere beneath the game. Like there's some hidden mechanic they don't tell you in manual. Okay, these guys just keep spawning. But 
Plans to heat hit you as you stand, okay. Uh, at the portal to Great Lake of Fire, around you occasional fires uh, erupt, then flicker out. In the center of the lake, you can just make out some sort of structure. Alright. Wait a second. Who cares about the girls? I don't. There we go. It's gonna be hard to rest here because all the enemies seen on those small islands in the lava. Plus we have all these homunculus here. Jump some levitating. So I'm not sure if there's something in the middle of this structure. Kinda looks like it they would okay. It could be something if you jump all, all the all, all 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 the way there. Can you even climb in this game? You can't, there's a sort of like, uh, like steps basically. Like I could probably climb this because there's like an area I can move up here. So let's say this would be like a high level like here and there would be like a tunnel in front of me. I could climb it. But you can't climb like walls or like, uh, like uh, city walls and stuff like that. It's just like set like tiles you can climb. Yeah, I kind of like, oh, there, there it is, the staff pod. Ooh. Interesting, alright, I guess there's some kind of <laughs> force field of a riddle around them, one there. To escape, a riddle must ye answer. From the beginning of eternity, to end of time and space, to beginning of every end, and at the end of every place, what am I? End of time and space, the beginning of, of every end and the end of every place. I, I, death, um, the end. Uh, from the beginning of eternity to the end of time and space, to the beginning of every end at the end of every place um. oh, it, it, it ain't dead but uh, let's just throw it out there okay Right. Uh, from the beginning of eternity to the end of time and space. The beginning of every end and the end of every place. I have no idea. Infinity. Infinity. Alright, okay Mithral, let's hear it. The Lord of Puzzles, let me uh, share your wisdom with with us. Yeah, oh come on, it can't be that simple. 
Jesus Christ. All right. To what truly worthy, go in peace, man. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Alter now. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get out of here. The west we go. All right, I have all the staff parts. So the last thing to be left is uh, a little meet with Jagar Tar Tarn or Jagar or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, that was the last piece. So let's get out of here. Uh, then I need to rest so we get the last vision. We will probably tell what I need to do. I'm guess I need to go Imperial City or the Imperial Province as you reveal because I think that's the only place we are yet to be. And if Yagar is trying to be the Emperor, it would be like natural he would be there. Let's go invisible as well. But oh come on, I'm stuck with this shit now because levitation. Nice. I guess just, yeah, go here. Yeah. What happens if you finish the game in a half hour? Uh, I, I don't know. Because so I'm still not sure what to play next. I do want to do another ball get run, but um, like here, because I levitate, I cannot climb this up. Uh, and I'm gonna die here as well. Nice. or like jump it yeah I'm not sure if I just finish the game within an hour or something we'll see I'm, I'm not feeling pulse get today but you ne never know I might go back to Jade Empire I was talking about maybe doing Warhammer campaign um I don't have Warhammer installed so that that would be a thing for today um I was also thinking to do your Star Wars, like little couple of Star Wars games, like uh, Dark Forces 2, Jedi at the Jedi Knight games. So those will be short games. Um, I, I don't know. Could you start Daggerfall, take a look at character creation and stuff? Maybe, I don't know. Because I still need to decide to, okay, we out there. But I might like install some mods with the game as well. I know at least the GOG uh, Unity version comes with mods installed. Don't say I have like a disease or something. So I, I, I kind of want to check out some mods as well before I install the game. I need to remember, I, I think my markings, okay they are, my markings are still there. So I think there's a like in-game time limit, like I don't know, maybe a week and your markings disappear or something. Or maybe the markings will stay your latest city visit, something like that, I don't know. I cannot save ya. Let's go outside and say. Even before I get one hit by some kind of monster crawling the night city. Okay, I guess not. All right. Okay, let's go back in. Okay, 
Uh, no vision. Local preparing, alright. My person need to... You have the staff on me now? Wait a second, don't say I didn't take this. I have seven staff pieces. Oh god, oh no. Yo, I need... I, no, 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 no. Oh god, oh no. I don't think I took the actual staff piece. Oh god, oh for f uh. Well, I have to say here, okay. Where am I now? Okay, I'm at the, oh god, well... Alright, let's go back down there. This is run as invisible and now uh, hope for the best, yeah. I thought I, I thought I took it, but I guess not because I just remember I didn't hear the fanfare when you finish the quest, right? So and it's spell resistance against these guys. Okay, what what way do we need to go here? West, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least the second level I can slug, you know. And now I live it, I cannot get across this shit. Ah, it's so annoying. Well, let's just wait it here. Okay, actually, let's double check my inventory. Do I have like. Yeah, staff piece is 7. This is the 8 piece, so. Yes, W, as you levitate, you cannot get across these points where you can climb or like jump, so. Yeah. Yeah, next game, I, I don't know. Uh, there was some, what other game was I was thinking? Oh yeah, also continue a uh, Jade Empire. That was one of the options as well. Although again, I'm not sure if I want to play Jade Empire today, but uh... We'll see, we'll see, right? Invisible. Nope. I'm just like humping this <laughs> piece of rock here. Well, that's okay. There we go. Enough, enough of humping. Wanna go here and I think south right, yeah. I cannot jump for whatever reason. Yep, yeah, just can't jump. Well, that's cool. Now I can jump. Okay. Well, I, I guess there was like a level holding me down. I like the, yeah. Alright, makes sense, I guess. 
Hope this guy don't respawn. They do, okay. For raid snacks, right? Or more homunculus? More homunculus, alright. Tennis have respawned, that's wonderful stuff. Well, my fault not picking the staff the first time we came here. I loved it. <laughs> now I loved it. There was like a mark and a recall spell in this game. This would have been a problem. Just like recall auto, recall in. Alright, well. In before I did get the staff, but uh, I need to take some other staff, but oh, I don't know, game box somewhere somehow. All right. What happened? I guess I actually didn't take the staff, but while I was here, I just like ran out without taking it. So now I have to come back here and uh, you know get it. Like I went all the way back to the city and whatnot. So. Now I'm again here waiting to okay levitation ended. Yeah, I need to take the staff, but god damn it. There we go. You find the last piece of staff of chaos as though a living thing it flies to complete the staff. The wall hole burns brightly with cold fire and you can feel the strength of the this conduit as though it were your own strength. There we go. Now let's get out of here. For good. I need to rest and I'll mine it invisibility or some mana to get some of the resistances up. I congratulate you on your success. Have you discovered, however, what I have known all along? The staff is drained of all magical potential. I did it myself before scattering the pieces across the realm. It is a useless stick 
good for turning butter or rowing a boat, but not for saving the Emperor. Come find me if you dare, and I will relieve you of any further burdens you may think to face. My legions await. Ah, we have invitation. So I think I need to go see Rodil and whatever Imperial City. Maybe fight the Yagar there in now. Uh, in the palace or something. Makes sense. Alright, another Hugo section here, but let's get out of here. Get hell out of here. Alright. Wait a second. Let's go back to Ebon Heart. Save. All right, there we go. Let's rest just to get health back, and if we got another like a vision of Aria. Let's do one more rest, like one hour rest. Oh. You want like a journal entry? Huh, no. Well, I think I need to go to Super Rodel, but I know. Let's do one more rest here. I don't think, alright. Can I equip the staff of chaos by the way? It's like a actual like item I can equip. No, I staff pieces eight, okay. Alright, uh Well, how's the clock? It's okay, I need to rest a couple more hours till the shops open. What's it what morning or afternoon actually? No, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well. Still need to identify and sell some stuff before. Well, I guess I could go do that in the Imperial City as well. You know what? Let's just go there. How bad could it get? Let's go visit the old, good old Yagar. Take the last save here. Yeah. I'll say goodbye to the Red Mountain. He's seen his fires for the last time here. Yeah. Well, yeah, the Imperial City is the place to be because there's no other. It's the only settlement you can go in here. Alright. You are right in the Imperial City, the date is 3rd, 8th of last seat in the year 3rd era 392. 
It took 19 days to reach your goal. You entered the Imperial City, the heart of Damriel, and the seat of power of for his majesty, Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh. Wow. So this is the seat of the Imperial power. Impressive. But you have this like, I don't know, boulevard here in the middle. I think it's a bit different than some of the other cities, I guess. I think we need to find an inn here. Yeah, that's just a random orcs in the <laughs> Imperial City of Rome about as well, alright. I think this leads to the actual palace, so let's not go there just yet. I do want to find an inn and some excess stuff in the morning. We got temple here. I guess I could get a little blessing as well. During the day before we go to the palace. And we have in here, nice. What's my equipment? Do I need to repair something? Because then I will take a longer uh, reservation than one day. New use. Okay, I need to prepare the boots and the right poultron. It was the command fine, yeah. I wasn't doing it for all this other stuff. Alright, let's do get a room for like 12 days, yeah. Let's find Mrs. Gill and Astoria. Oh. Where is Mrs. Gill? Pretty sure it's west of here. Is there something else I can ask? Uh, nearest, uh, not the inner store. North of here, alright. The guild is west, the uh, store is north. So let's go to the guild first. Is it this? No, that's some kind of mansion. Here we have a store. Maybe the major skill is the big building west of here. Yes. How do I get in though? Where is this door? Hmm... Out through here. Aha. Uh -huh. Would you choose a different class if you play this again? Um... Hard to say. If there's a class that could cast spells and uh, equip heavy armor, I would take that class, but I don't think there's such a thing, so I think I'm happy with spell sword. I think this is the best you can do with uh, my playstyle. I like doing damage and I do like casting spells, so... Yeah, I, I was happy with spell sword. 
some like the fair buffs you can cast yourself as complete lifesavers and time savers as well so you're gonna need a lot of like uh, resistance spells and whatnot and uh, levitation helps quite a bit uh, heals obviously help quite a bit also you can buy like full heal potions in the game that there, there, there are those And it's, uh, I have to use Basswell that much because I have the sword, but if I didn't have the sword, having this would be amazing as well. It's a time saver. Alright, let's identify some stuff. I read actually online that uh, warrior classes are easier at the very beginning because you have get access to heavy armor. So I think armor does matter quite a bit, but uh, again, I'm not sure how accurate that information is because I haven't played this game multiple times. So. It could be one of those, you know, bullshit things people just repeat without really experimenting themselves. Or knowing the truth, they just heard it one time, they played it that way, and they just keep repeating, oh yeah, warrior, it is the best. Let's identify this. I'm torn between bar and pure heavy armor melee damage still from when I played this game, alright. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess you can brute force some of the combat encounters with heavy warrior, but again, then you lose some of the utility spells. Unless you get lucky with the equipment you get, and you get some good like uh, casting items, then it's gonna be a problem. But if you get unlucky, it could get kinda tiresome. So I think outside of the like. Uh, you know, the artifacts, I think every single piece of loot is uh, uh, random. Like, I, I did get the Passwall sword from the study dungeon, but you could get like unlucky and never get it from there, so. And I wanna say it's the only Passwall sword I got into this playthrough, so. You know? But I may have probably depend on potions, yeah. Well, there's like a. because you get a. Uh, there's a quite a bit of like magical uh, equipment or heavy armor that has like some innate abilities tied to into them. Like let's say like I don't know boots of agility and stuff like that. Those can help. I cannot use them because this class can't use anything heavier than chainmail. So, and there is no magical chainmail or leather armor in this game. So, well actually, uh, yeah, there are like heavy armors that give you stats. There's been. And there's of course the like ebony and stuff like that. Let's give, give you even more like uh, AR and stuff like that. Uh, let's get some poses to true heal or heal through here. Let's get like five. We get it today in the game, so. You know what what I'm gonna uh, do you have any magic items? Um, um, um. No thanks. Alright, uh, good luck with your own stream, Mitra. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, thank you. Let's buy more. Like I said, I think it's gonna be the end of fight coming here, so let's just, just get even more. I don't wanna die because I didn't have enough potions. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm fine on both, since I don't need any of the other crap. Oh, well, let's see, actually. Yeah, good disease, free action, invisibility, some heal throughs. What about uh, power? Rest of power? I think, uh, well, I need to actually check it from the inventory. How many have left here? Four. Guess I could couple of those. I think then I'm done here.
what I actually want to check uh, like uh, buffs, um, ability buffs as a spell. Modify attribute, yeah. Just taking the intelligence. Well, I think intelligence gives you mana, it doesn't scale with the spell, so. Uh, maybe agility. Gives me a more better hit chance and better chance to defend. <laughs> strength, I think I do enough damage. Uh, I don't think I need damage. I'll have strength uh, 20 with all the equipment buffs as well, so. Maybe willpower, because we're gonna fight Yagar, right? So a good chance to defend against the spells of his. Although I have the spell resistance spells, I think I'm cool actually there. Fortify luck, by the way. Yeah, I love luck. Let's get some luck here. Ah, uh, mm, it's like that. How much would we cost quite 50 points more? Rate of release. Actually, not that much. Alright, they go. Luck be a lady. Let's get a plus 50 to luck. That's the only attribute bonus I need. Alright, now we're done here. But there was also a store just like uh, east of here, right? So we can visit there, sell some of the stuff, repair it. And, and, and. Oh, there's an inn right there as well, so. Nice. We can rest there and wait there till the repairment is done. Sell the other bracelet. Was the helmet and uh, boots are right pulled for an attic helmet as well, yeah. Alright, so let's wait the 10 days or rest the 10 days and now, uh, yeah, we'll go to the finish line here. People like me now and I have the staff parts. Go away, alright now. <laughs> they ain't a fan. They ain't a fan of me. God damn it. Alright. Should've known it. Should've known it.
let's see if this will be ready here. Yeah. Let's go towards the Imperial Palace. Let's see if we can meet Yagar there. Ooh, okay, it's a bit different than in Oblivion. A little bit different, you know. It's kind of cozy looking, you know. A red castle instead of a massive tower, but hey. What up? Let's go in. As you blundered your way to this place, at one time, I even considered approaching you with an offer to lead my Imperial Guards. But it is plain that you are not worthy of such a position. Be not fooled by what you would call success in your journey across the Empire, for you have never faced a being as powerful as I. Your death shall be slow and torturous, a suffering that shall span the millennium. Come! I await you in the dungeons below. Alright, so dungeons below. It means, yeah, we probably need to go all the way to this dungeon here. Oh, we have a little map here. Alright, Yagar, what a nice, nice dude. He's just giving us the map already. Yeah. What a dude. Help the party done. Oh, well, uh. Well, I'm honored being a background stream while you take a bath, but yeah, hello there, man. Okay, let's see. I thought they, it seems they didn't light up the place here. In, in, in much of a palace. Yagar Tarn beats the welcome, foolish child, alright. A shield as well. The main hall. Right, no Imperial Guard here, so no ghosts. I guess that fits Yegar's style here. Yeah. Okay, what is that? I just want to go to the basement. Uh, let's go up here. Let's hope that is the way to the basement. This guy's one tough son of a bitch. Maybe not. Conference hall, alright. Guess here Yagar organizes this power meetings or some shit. I don't know. Table, all right. What is a hidden wall here? All right. Let's just go to the next level. Ooh, Medusa. Save it. Um, okay, I don't have a map this place though, so alright. What attacked me? Okay, I'm paralyzed, cool. I guess the Medusa attacked me, so it's like behind the corner there, I didn't see him or something. So now I need to rest. Oh, 
Hotel when all the manager. Conference hall, you're here by invite to meet in on the agenda is the ting, 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 smack, smack, ting, ting, ring, ring. <laughs> that is the sounds of th this game. Pretty much. Let's save again. I wonder how last this last dancer will be. Okay, what? Where did this guy come from? Like nothing here, suddenly here. There's a silent behind my back. There we go. Cast the shield. I wonder if I can get even one more level of this game. Seems there's a lot of like these high level of enemies that they're probably gonna give me a lot more XP. Could happen, one last level. Let's see if that happens. Um, okay, let's rest on the bed or not, alright. No dead end. Go this way now. And I died. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. Even my servants go to fetch your mortal husk. You will serve me well through my years as emperor. Once I have made you undead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, I don't uh, don't have to hear that one. Like, Again, it was several, right? Yeah, you know what? Invisibility. My favorite spell. Let's let's do it. But I think this guy's pocketable tunnel. Ah. Uh... Oh, we have a demon here. See ya. Gotta go. This is a dining table. Reminds me of the table for Putin with. Alright, okay. How many vampires we have here? Since vampires will see through invisibly as well. For vampires, I think there was even more behind. The what? Okay. How about you guys stay dead? Alright, so stay dead. That cro convention of this hotel? Yeah, I think that's the style Yegar has suit, you know. All his minions follow his style. He has the black rope on as well. He's the fashion mogul of Empire now. Clean. 
Uh, so check the manual, there was nothing about the sounds, there was only a few hit the enemy, there's a sound, so I think the hitting is the thumb sound and the clinging is just another sound for missing. I guess to make it a bit more varied, it's not always the same miss sound. To make, make it more clear that you are uh, hit, like, you know, hitting the enemy but not getting the hit in. And there's another ambush. Hey. A piece because they put conference room, he killed the tech guy instead of the project, or maybe. And I'm about to die. I'm dead. You were a fool to confront me. I was a fool. Alright. I did kill save to kill the vampires, right? Yeah. Is that like a save zone I could rest peacefully? Let's not go here. And I'm paralyzed. I'm out. And I'm paralyzed. I'm out. And I'm paralyzed. Did this Medusa is like teleporting in front of me? Alright, I'm just gonna load it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that to death. Even though I didn't die, but... Uh, reload is a death to me. Okay. Wow, missing texture or maybe portal for uh, another world. I'm wondering what happens when I... Oh. Right, how about can can we rest here? I just wanna I want mana. No. And it's spawn on the other side of the wall or something. Nice. Thing is I low mana so I don't So I notice okay, nice. Get the fuck out of here. Nice. That's the other thing. You can rest. I need the mana, but I just can't rest here. It's probably gonna be another Argon spawn in my ass here. Some piece just hit me when I was okay. Whatever. That can uh, rest. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Oh. All right. Next level is PC. So my health there, but I have horse uh, bosses uh, heal through, so I'll be fine. See dudes, is this, this some special door? I guess not, alright. And there's a vampire, and I can rest. This, I guess this is like jail cells. I guess that's where Oblivion starts. And there's a Lich. Wow. And have no mana. Well, I have the rest of power, so... And I'm dead. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. I can't really rest right here because we have to uh, down fox right there. Go this way. Cannot rest here because it's full of cells of enemies and whatnot. Alright. 
Okay, I guess I need to kill the two golems at the very start, so I can have like a little corner where to rest there. Right here. Let's just really conf confront him. <laughs> Maybe. If that was an option, I would, but I, I feel like that ain't gonna be an option, unfortunately. Alright, let's get that, let's get shield. Can I get the luck be a lady spell? Not in a mana too bad, alright. And the shield is broken like instantly. At the very first hits. <laughs> and that's my the be better shield as well. Okay, maybe now I have like a safe zone with no enemies nearby can arrest. That way there's no enemies to be Okay, there we go, nice. And I'm ambushed immediately. With a by vampire, how? Okay, I'm deceased. Okay, I'm just gonna load it. Fuck this shit. Alright. That, that 150 is uh, re <laughs> coming up uh, quite fast here. How does that alter a modern X thing work? You don't play from the actual original install, do you? Oh, it's been a while I installed, but no, you get like a different launcher. I think you just need to like uh, copy some files from the like the CD. And that's that. Although I'm not sure how it works if you don't have the physical version. But I, ha I have the, like the actual CDs or DVDs still, so I need to... Copy some files from there. If you're like Steam or GOG version or something, I'm not sure how the actual works. You probably just need to copy some files from the, like the Steam folder or something, and uh, that's how it's gonna work. Then you can run uh, the file from the uh, OpenMV or the game. It has its own like a mod launcher and whatnot, or the whatever it's called the mod list or like the ESP files which you can like choose the order and why not all right now we got a full rest that was lucky uh open and v so i can like type it there i, I was happy with the game i had any like problems with it there's some mods that don't work with open and yet but um uh, I had any like special mod that oh I too bad I can't use it. I might even have had the mod list uh, I had used. Should have all the links and shit. Um, command. Well, there you go. There's the Google document out there. Download looks of one. If you wanna check out some of the mods I use, or whatever ideas for this. All right, there we go. Get the fuck out those guys who spawned there. Nice. Let's overwrite this one. Let's go invisible. And we have, okay. Two set of, okay. Right. The question is which way I should go. I think I, well, I need to go this way because uh, this is the edge of the level. East side and south side. So it's the, I think next part of the map I, or next door I need to go probably is like northwest somewhere. Well, let's kill these dudes. Yeah, I highly recommend Morrowind. It's, it, it is my favorite Elder Scrolls game by far. Although I must admit, I started with it, and usually your first game of the series is your favorite, right? So, there's that, there's that. There's also, if you want to mod more, there's like a... Uh, 
Well, it might be on the Google document. There's like a place that uh, this has a lot of suggestions what kind of mods you should, or what mods work with Open MV and stuff like that. What a good guide. All right. Well, there you go. But yeah, for me, Open MV was super good. Very, uh, like, uh, it didn't crash at all. It ran faster than the basic version of the game, or like the regular version of the game. Very fast load times, even with like uh, 50 of uh, mods I had, 50 plus mods, so... Yeah. But the one thing, uh, if you mod needs like script uh, script extender or something like that, I don't think OpenAV work with script extender, or the script extender doesn't work with OpenAV or whatever it goes. So test that as well. I don't think it, they are getting there with uh, adding like a uh, support for Lua script and whatnot. I think next version. And we have this shit now. Where'd this dude come from? Now he's blocking the door. Amazing stuff. Ooh. See you, dude. I'm out. Uh, I think I'm gonna go... Yeah. More west. Is there a door here? No. Alright, this guy just doesn't leave me alone. Alright, well... Where are these guys coming from? I think I'm definitely gonna get level up here because there's so many of these high level enemies. I don't, I'm not sure how much. Well, level up would help a little bit some of the scaling spells, right? That's about it. Did I sword break? No. Something broke though. I think the, yeah, the mark of healing broke. Alright. For a second I thought my mighty katana was broken. That couldn't happen. You know, this katana has been fallen 6,000 times. But the finest meets of Japan or whatever fantasy Japan in Tamrel. No way it could break. And I gotta rest. And another. Okay. Guess this guy's just random spawning, like... Alright. One of my least favorite uh, gaming mechanics, endless spawn spawning enemies. Can I like, destroy this pillar that's poking my door way here? Guess not, alright. Katanas can break them made of VP. <laughs> Bonium, yeah. That's what they say. Alright, so this way is blocked by a one pillar that's undestructible. Wait a second, can do passwall? Well, you know what? Passwall here. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, I actually don't have my chain boots and uh, some of this, some of my gear ain't on. Alright, there we go. That could keep me alive a little bit better. There we go. No mere pillar can uh, block Nebukar. Oh, 
Oti se mun safe spot to rest, because this is high ground, and this enemy is nearby. I guess not, alright. Let's try again. But even those guys just spawn. Oh, there's a secret door here, I guess. Oh no, I see just a turn a corner I didn't see. And there's uh I think Hellhound. Yeah. Alright, let's try again. There we go. Yeah, with the high crown, you can rest save layer. This is, I guess, interesting mechanic, but, uh, all right. If there was some kind of explanation in the first time, so something like that, the enemies can smell you because you're on the high ground or some stuff, like, I don't know. Yeah, that Door. It goes deeper as well, nice. Yeah, that was one thick metal boy. But I was thicker, alright. Or at least my blade was. And there's two leeches, alright. It's like some Paul's Gate late game encounter. Yeah. Straight from Torn of Ball. I'm not sure if there's a TVD fight with two leeches. I don't, I don't think there is actually. But there are leeches plus some crap, but no, it's outright leech. Let's go shield again. I think these are like officially like the hardest enemies in the game. A lot of high level spells. If the, oh, there's another leech just behind spamming spells. Nice. And I'm a dead. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. Even now, my servants go to fetch your mortal husk. You will serve me well through my years as emperor. Once I have made you undead. All right. <laughs> so let's see. Arden and Forde. There we go. But yeah, I, I think here they have one of the game designers just decided to put all the toughest enemies in the game and just spam them. Which is interesting encounter design, or I could say, I could, I guess you could say lack of it. What will be your strength for beating the guy who has killed you 125 so fast? Well, we'll see when we get it. I guess I'm suspect because he's a mage that's gonna put, you know, spell resistance up and hope for the best. But to chop in the top, so I won't be trying to keep nervous and going excited for your things. Okay, Alright, partner, you, you enjoy your bath. You enjoy your bath. Let's go this side this time. Ain't gonna fight the leeches. There's a little too many for me there. If you do right there. Oh, it's just all leeches here. Nice. And I must say, leeches see through invisibility, so I can just like sneak by either. Alright. This is like this is big fuck you to the player from the game design. <laughs> it's like, enjoy this shit, you noob. Huh? You think you're a tough guy? Here's some leeches for you. Army of them. Hope you're having fun. Yeah, these guys the most HP for my enemies probably and uh, they do the most damage, so it's a it's a lethal combo if there ever was one. Put it up mana.
cast a shield puff as well. There we go, the epic battle. I think there's gonna be another two immediately after this though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, this elites. Ah, right there, all right. The ring of healing proc as well. All right, well that sucks. Guess I should, should I recharge this dose before I came here? But hey, whatever. I think I'll survive. Hopefully, unless there's like a hundred more of these lizards, then everything I have is gonna break. Well, fuck me. All right, 141 deaths. <laughs> yep. All right. You know what? Jeez, you never know some way. Let's just pass well through here. Yeah. Screw the leeches. I have ways to get past them, you know. Tricky nebu they call me. No leech will hold me. Or a wall. Failure? What? Gotta be kidding me. It's like... Oh, the leads is right behind the wall as well. <laughs> Maybe, okay. So I cannot break those walls then, alright. Interesting. Makes me wonder if that's gonna be like the end game chamber or something here. Or maybe it's just like filled with lava or something. Alright, well that was a waste of time. You know what, let's just run through here. I'm not gonna see what's happening here. We really wanna go and start, so let's do a little like scouting run here. How many leeches are we dealing here? Quite many. Yeah, I'm gonna kill out those leeches. I think it's gonna take the run here. Unless I get killed here. Uh, oh, is, the, is, this the, is this not even a place where I wanna go? Is this like some, some jail cell or something? For instance, it's great still, Lord. Service hold behind a great fault. This one is super interesting. Then, alright, I think this one wanna go. Is this gonna, where are we gonna meet Jacob Tra? No, the small leeches. Nice. See you, suckers. <laughs> well, guess, alright. Is that vampire or is this Yagar? I think that might be some random vampire. Oh, I don't fucking know. Let's buff up though. I'll take off my uh, power stuff. Alright, that sucks, but hey. Let's get shield as well. Okay, this is Yagar with the staff, yeah. Okay, he has like some insane AC or something. Or AR. Or maybe he probably has shield spell as well on him. And he's just killing me outright, alright. Can he see through invisibility, I wonder? Yes. That would be too easy. Uh 
No, ok. Can't hit this guy. <laughs> uh, let's go with the long sort of paralyzed season, all right? If I paralyze this guy. Oh, do I have the staff of chaos? Maybe I need to hit him with that then. No, I have staff pieces, huh? Yeah, I think this is the final fight, but I feel like I'm doing something very wrong, yeah. Jesus. Okay, let's go back to the pony katana. He might, I might need like non Monday weapon to hit the guy, so I, and that might not be doing anything. But I feel like I yet to hit this guy. Oh. I was a true fool. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna rest upstairs. Uh, go back upstairs, find that one safe spot to rest, get full mana. Then we could go back here and now. Uh... So I need mana. I, I cannot beat this guy without mana. I only have like three restore power potions left, and those are kind of weak as well. So if he's gonna run through the okay, get off, really. There we go. Here was the safe spot, alright. Let's get a full rest, let's get full mana. Let's override save 10. Enemy sniper, get, get out of here, come on. Come on game, these guys are back, alright. This probably means the leeches will be back when I rest. A couple of leeches that I killed will be right there again. But I, I, if I put the spell rest up, I can just run, okay. Even these guys was... Alright. Now I should be able to rest, yes. Let's do like 10 hours, yeah. There we go. Not this guy's back, alright. But there goes some of the mana. <laughs> Which means I need to rest again. I guess I could just pass well the guy as well, but uh... Yeah, I need full mana. I, I don't think I have a chance otherwise. Or maybe I need to do something with the staff, like find out where to reach us if I have no idea where. Oh, oh what? Okay, the Atna, no, alright. It's a hidden wall, alright. Could you do me a favor and give me a shout out when you're about to fight the final boss again? I can't see the screen as one to miss if you want to kill him with some strat. Alright, sir, but I will like uh, say it aloud. I'm fighting Yagar! Go watch this! Badan! Alright, let's just, yeah, let's just get spell rest on and let's just run here. Run to the Yagar. I ain't gonna fight this, guys. There's way too many of these dudes. There's two, three, four, and I'm stuck here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So all of my mana will go to these guys, then I need to rest. There's a four, fifth one. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I need to do something with the staff parts because they are yet to be combined into any kind of item or. I'm a fine gentleman? Well, I am. Well, I'm not sure if I'm a gentleman, but uh, some people would argue against it. But you know, I, I'm trying to be a gentleman, alright? Yagar is chilling there. Let's make a hard save here. Let's do. Let's overwrite this one. Let's go check if there's anything else here. Something I can do with the staff. Huh? Oh. Uh, 
Alright. Pardon. I'm fighting your guard. I'm fighting your guard. Although I'm not sure this might be our test run here, but... Because uh, I have no idea how to defeat this dude. Well, let's do the good old... You know, smack till you win. Oh, he's like groaning. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be I me. Mean, I'm hitting him. As there's not much of a fanfare for this uh, <laughs> fight. He's just kind of one arena. Oh, that's Yagar himself. Uh, let's kick his ass, I guess. Okay, I think that was a hit. Or maybe hit me. No, I think I hit him. So I have like a 1 in a 50 chance to hit this guy. What a big fight. <laughs> it's like in Morrowind where you have zero stamina, you wanna hit a rat or something. Okay. Uh, I need more. I need a Rika shield. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like we are doing like something wrong here. Well, I don't know. Maybe he just dies in like a couple of seconds or something. Very anti anti climb anti, anti climatic happens here or something like that. We'll see. We'll see. Even he does most of just physical damage, like uh, I need shield on him, or on me. Not the spell of resistance even, so this ain't much of a mage duel, it's just like two dudes banging each other with one has staff, one has a sword. I should have bought more mana potions, I guess. This is so weak. I get like 25 mana for one potion. I only have over 100 mana. Can... Well, now I'm out of mana again. Well, I just need to enough heals to... Not die to these attacks. Which I might not have. Yeah, like, I feel like I should have done with something with the staff, but I know I never saw like a vision of a Rhea or something. I feel, I feel like we're hitting this guy for 15 minutes. Uh. So he stopped hitting me, so maybe he's running his own book and now hit me. Alright, maybe I got lucky there. Well, there goes the ring of healing that broke. I think my weapon, but nope, it's still on. Ooh. No more true healing poses, I'm about to die. Maybe I was sort of cast luck be a lady, maybe I had a better chance to hit the guy. Now. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. <clears throat> Okay, let's do it so I cast the luck be a lady, get luck 100. That could be a key here. 
And I don't need spell rest, we soon need a shield, so we can save a little bit of mana with that. Luck be a lady. So I should be 100 luck, right? Yeah, 100 luck. Maybe that will help me hit the guy. Red wicket is something you have to do. Uh, you can't just hack it. Okay, well, as you said, I, just, I have no idea. I guess it's something to do with the staff, but again... Not sure what. Do you find the jewel of fire? Nope. I never even heard about that. Is, is it supposed to be somewhere in the dungeon? Because I feel like I missed some kind of cutscene from Rhea telling me what the next object should be. Yeah, I not even never heard about it. Jewel of Fire. Convincingly lies nearby, well, alright. <laughs> Maybe in one of the uh, cell doors, alright. You know what, let's load the game. Let's mark that as a death. That's a wrong save. Oh, there we go. Magical headlock, which means I think I need a key. Could be one of the other cells, maybe the key. And the key set, there we go. Mithril key, alright. And now I'm stuck here, wow. Well, uh, pass wall. All right. All right. Something happened. I think the game just crashed. <laughs> I think that's what happened there. The Jewel of Fire was too powerful of an artifact, not even the game could handle it. Okay, yeah, yeah, the game crashed. <laughs> Let's restart. Well, at least we got a, one crash, not two states, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, let's restart the game. Okay, I guess I can. Uh, uh, pass wall into the cell door with the key, so I don't get blocked by the blocked by Yagar. I think that's one way to do it. All right. Let's see. It was this cell right here as well. This way I don't need to fight Yagar right away, right? I can just sneak into the... Goddamn room. <laughs> Sneaky Nebu. Guess I could have just pass one into the place with the jewel. Does say sometimes pick up, pick up the gem jewel game to cream to crash. All right, maybe it's like you know. Well, let's try another time. Cutscene. You must not. The jewel holds my life force. Oh.
guess this is Uriel Septon himself. Thou art a child of the Empire. I thank thee for thy assistance. I have a particular idea as to the question of your service in mind. From this day forth, thou art named the Eternal Champion. From thy hand shall be dealt the needs of the Empire. I, Uriel Septon, true Emperor of Tamriel, do decree and thus make law. Arise, my champion, and take thy rightful place at my side. Woohoo! Waha! There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright, let's read this. You have proved yourself a worthy champion of the Empire, and thus service shall not be easily forgotten. Hang not your sword above the mantle, nor place your spell book upon the shelves. Many such adventures still await your hand. This was but one chapter in the story of Elder Scrolls. You know, I saved the Empire, I get this shit shack as my reward. Is that the impl implication here? Nice. Could he give me like a mansion? Like, I don't know. Some beast property would be nice, but hey. Oh, you can still keep playing, I guess. Alright, no credits or anything. Interesting. Alright, well, we've got put here. End of... Game. Alright, there's Arena. There's Arena. I guess we could get some closing thoughts. Really enjoy this run? That's cool. I, I did enjoy the game here and there. More at the beginning, less more at the end of the game, but yeah. So Arena, my first playthrough. Um, ah, uh, yeah, it's a bit conflicting game for me. Like I'm doing this whole uh, Elder Scrolls series full playthrough, and started with Arena. Never played it myself before, so uh, was my first touch of the game. Like I said, at the early part of the game, I really enjoyed the first time playing. It was like, uh, how do I say it? Well, most of it's just like uh, because you first time experienced where, where the uh, series began, right? Oh, I recognize this mechanic. Oh, this is still the same. Uh, there's still the same attributes and stuff like that. And there was something like, oh, this is different. Like, this is how it works and so on. Like, you uh, very beginning start from the jail cell, right? Like a prisoner and so on. So, uh, yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, it's very, it's like a uh, curiosity. That's that, uh, like, um, if you're curious where the series starts, then it's an enjoyable game. But outside of that, I actually couldn't really recommend this game to anybody. I see why nobody uh, thinks that Arena is the best game in the series. I think most people think it might be the worst game in the series, so I can see where they're coming now. It's probably so primitive, but for the time, it's pretty fucking good. Taking account of its age, I think it was good start for the series. Well, I guess there's some like the mainstay of the series out there. You know, the open world. You begin as a uh, prisoner, multiple classes, different uh, play styles. And I think there's that many like role-playing opportunities, even some of the later series. Like people say like uh, Skyrim doesn't have much like role-playing opportunities. That you can master your character, become master in every single like skill and so on. But I don't, I don't think Arena had that many like um. Uh, if you wanna go like a role play like sort of like a uh, character focused stuff, you'll very well. Oh, I'm gonna be like a mage and like uh, act like a mage in this world. I don't think there's that many opportunities. Maybe for thief because you can do break-ins into the houses, you can steal from the merchants. So you can do like a role play uh, play through with a thief class. Maybe maybe as a warrior, but uh. Because you smack things, but uh, yeah. Yeah, the Castle Spell Crazy was there as well. Uh, uh, which is a cool thing because the series doesn't have it anymore, so. It was nice to find it. It, 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 it was in the very first game. Although I'm kind of excited to play Daggerfall now because uh, from what I heard uh, from the chat that people play Daggerfall, it's, it should be like a huge improvement. In every way, so uh, I'm kind of excited to play Daggerfall now as well. I read a better than Skyrim confirmed. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Although, dude, I must say I uh, enjoyed Skyrim more than Arena. Like the main pro play is just like the main story, or like the. Let's see if the story story is kind of whatever. It's just like the dancer design or the design of the main quest line. 
Do you have to do like two dances to get the staff part? Like uh, I'll talk about this multiple times, but you know, first time you hear, oh, somebody in this city knows where the staff part is, so you go to that guy. But first, you need to do some kind of quest involving getting like a tablet or like a uh, whatever. Some McGuffey you need to hunt from some other dungeon. You do that. You go to that dude, bring the tablet back. He tells, oh, now I can tell you where the staff part is, and you need to do that like eight times for every staff part. So. Yeah, it is one, basically one uh, quest repeated eight times, yeah. Like, first couple of times you don't mind it, but bye bye, you get to the end, get eight part, and it's like, oh god, here we go again. Because you know exactly what, how it's gonna be. Although some of the main uh, dungeons, there were some variations, right? There was the couple, like, forest uh, dungeons that were like, uh, uh, like open air dungeons. They were underground, but, um, uh, and there was also like some defenses, like some were like more under focus, but uh, when you're in the dungeon, they're very maze like, uh, they, it, they don't feel that different, honestly. So, yeah. Although you have like uh, spells and whatnot, like Bass Vault, that can help you go through the dungeons faster if you don't insert time there, but uh, yeah, of course, Bass Vault is really an option if you are playing as a warrior, for example, unless you find an item that can cast Bass Vault, but uh, yeah. And I must say, I didn't explore the open world that much, but I just... sadly no like a reason to do that. Because it's just, you know, more of the same stuff, right? It's more of those dungeons where you fight the same enemies, and uh, it's the same kind of maze-like structure. It, yeah, I really have no like a... any intention to like explore the open world that much. Uh, do you want Smacks update? Let's hear the button. How's your campaign doing? Are you still playing Spartans? Or are you only doing another campaign? Because the open world is like the unique feature of this game at, at its release at, at least. But uh, right to, to these days, it's anything special, so it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of whatever the open world. I, I guess I could have played it more, but I kind of want to just finish the game, so I just like be like the main quest line. And I don't think playing more open world would have made any kind of positive, uh, like a more positive reaction to the game from me. Maybe even opposite. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But Arena, uh, yeah, I really can't see myself recommending this game to anybody. It's just like a piece of curiosity if you really want to see where the series started. But uh, outside of that, I can't really recommend this game to anybody. Alright, unlock a clean reaction with Spartans and drop bots and freaking Miram and Yang with drop rovers and attacks from cruisers. There you go. There you go. Are you close to finish the campaign then? Or like, is Miriam and Yang the last two factions besides you or like your main uh, enemies? Just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't really uh, recommend Arena to anybody. It's not that long if you just focus on the main quest line. I did it like what less than forty hours, so it's not that bad. But uh, yeah, Morgan D Diadra a died Dider maybe. I don't, I don't think there's Diadric uh in the game, or maybe I forgot who Diadric is. But uh, yeah, Ravina dominates the victory. So, all right, there you go. The Spartan way to win. But yep, yep, yep. Autocorrect, alright. So I, I think it's Deatra, Deatra, yeah. Alright. Up, 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 up. Anything else to say about the game? I don't know, it's kind of like, uh, yeah. I guess it's kind of cool that the class, there's a lot more difference between classes. You cannot become like a master of everything in this game. Like if you use spell sword, you can't, you just can't wear heavy armor. I don't mind, actually I kind of like that when the classes have like clear uh, like limitations. I don't mind that. I just wish there would be more like different light armors that could have used. So what next on the menu? Ah, uh, well that is the question, ain't it? 
ain't gonna do dagger fall right away i think i'm gonna get a little break from my uh, arena and dagger fall i think is much larger game like it's average play times like 100 hours so uh i'm gonna do some kind of lighter games in between so like some gate action at least one gate play through maybe two depending how they go and 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 still undecided the other game i could finish jade empire on stream that could be a thing i could play a warhammer campaign do some of those star wars games i was thinking about uh like dark forces 2 jedi outcast jedi academy I was thinking also Stellaris campaign, but that that that, that can take uh, quite long, I guess depending on the map size, so V2 Bing Gate. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We will see. But yeah, at least so uh, one or two pulse gate no reload runs. Then something else. I'm not sure what though, yeah. I need to think on that. Galactic Civilization 3, I want to say I have played Galactic Civilization 1 or 2, but I haven't played the third one, you know. Is it any good? Flag 2, 3 is pretty fucking good, alright. It's not C4 level good, but it's good, alright. Maybe I don't I uh, I don't remember how to did I like Galaxy Civilization. Uh, I like Stellaris. Well, uh, like is maybe even a bit strong word. Sometimes I like Stellaris. Let's go with that. I don't know. I maybe played a little bit too much. It's getting kind of old and uh, a little too simple of a game. But Stellaris could be fun. Uh, but yeah, I need to think about the games. Need to think about the games. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm probably not gonna start the gate stream or campaign today. I think I'm gonna start maybe tomorrow. Maybe this was a bit of a shorter stream then for today. Maybe, yeah. Cause, uh, cause I'm not sure what else to play besides gate yet. Uh, I, I don't wanna start with gate today. Not today. I think I'm gonna start with tomorrow, so yeah. Sounds good, well, yeah. But yeah, that was Arena. <laughs> no recommendations of small Nebu here, I must say. But uh, if you want to know where the series started, there you go. You can get it free for Steam, so uh, it's going to cost you anything, I think. And Arena Speed, and so yeah. I'm so uploaded the Arena playthrough on like tweets here. So if when I start like the Dagger Fall, you can still watch the Arena playthrough. If you missed it, I guess, if somebody ever, like, I uh, know, wonders about that, uh, how did the arena play to us go or something, I'm gonna keep it on Twitch, so, uh, people can check it out. Although, I don't think people watch VODs on Twitch much, but hey, so I'm, so that's a case if somebody is there, people like that, I'm gonna keep it. For, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks or something, I ain't gonna keep it there for all eternity, but, you know, for some time, I think. I've had to see the glory of VTuber, yeah. But at least that fall, we're gonna make a new, like, a, a, a VTuber avatar when we create the character, so. All eternity, alright. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But, yeah. Well, if I think that's that, so Arena, uh, I'm thinking if there's any final words there. Wait, they are missed. I don't know. It's just, yeah. It's, I feel like it's a little. Not a recommendation, it's just if you're curious where the series started, you, could, you should check it out. Gives you a little bit of a retro gaming experience. Uh, but, 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 some levels it may be a little too simple of a game, maybe so, you know, so it's his age a little bit. Although there's some cool uh, mechanical stuff, like the spell making stuff like that, which is cool, but beyond that it might be a little too simple. I think that's why Deckfall is considered better, because it like, uh, adds new mechanics and whatnot. I can fault play through as St Stalin. <laughs> well, we have to see what uh, what kind of uh, character options we have in a uh, Daggerfall, or are they the same, right? Not sure what kind of character. So I've been thinking Daggerfall. It would be some kind of thief-based class, maybe thief mates, so I can use the climbing. 
the climbing skill. I want to try the climbing skill. I'm going to climb every single thing in the game. All the walls, all the houses. It's going to, it's going to be full like uh, Assassin's Creed kind of <laughs> playthrough. Stealth Archer? Mm. I know. I, don't, I think that that's one build I will try to avoid making. The one build I will, I will avoid making is a Stealth Archer. But it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how Mithril will do his playthrough. If he's gonna play it after uh, Kingdom Come. Although Kingdom Come can be kind of a long game, so it could take a while him to get to the arena. But depends how his, his warding goes and so on. You play Thief Mage, it's inevitable to become a Stealth Archer. Well, maybe I go like melee, you know. So backstabs, stuff like that, or focus on more spell damage. But we'll see. At least I hope in Daggerfall, if I go with Archer Root, uh, there's like more magical bows. Because that one weakness arena, there was just the regular bows. No magical weapons whatsoever, so I, I think there's gonna have a point where you cannot hit the... Enemies that need non-mundane weapons to hit them. It's Daggerfall, use two daggers if you can. Well, there you go. You know, do like a... Uh, climb on top of roofs. Uh, uh, roofs and jump down with daggers, fall from the roofs with daggers, dagger fall there you go, it's in the name it's in the name but yeah yep yep, I think I'm gonna end it here tonight, it's gonna be a bit short as yeah like I don't wanna start Baldur's Gate today I think uh clean fall daggers, yeah yeah We'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll see how it's gonna go. Uh, the classes could be different in Daggerfall as well, because I never played Daggerfall, so I don't know exactly. It's just been what people be talking in the chat, like, uh, the cook in his farm had played Daggerfall, and uh, Mithril, and uh, I think Sangnif had played Daggerfall, and they talked about it a little bit, so. That's all I know so far. I'm still kinda unsure if I'm gonna play the Unity version, the original version. I, I do have both, so. Uh, that's up to debate still. I'm probably go, gonna go with Unity version. Maybe. Well, I, can, I need to actually kind of need to research that, which is, uh, feel is people think is better. better. Although it would be kind of cool to play the original version because it is my first playthrough, so. Maybe I wanna make my, you know, own like uh, decisions or like uh, make my own opinions about the game before uh, and not just follow other people's opinions. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, so the stream today, it was Arena. I, I think I'll say my, my, what I have to say about the game. But yeah, next game in the Elder Scrolls series is going to be Daggerfall, of course. And I kind of hope I can start it before summer, but uh, who knows? We'll see. So next stream is going to be some more uh, Baldur's Gate. And some mystery game. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start a uh, Gate tomorrow because I still can't answer what else to play. I, I guess I could decide it tomorrow then. So yeah, I think tomorrow is a gate a gate day. Fine day, the gate day. But yeah, yeah, Sunday stream. Yeah, I'm gonna stream Sunday. It's gonna be some gate action. So I hope you see you there, pardon. But yeah. Uh, excellent. All right, there we go. But yeah, like I said, that was Arena. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Yeah, although I whine a lot of, a lot of, it was still kind of fun to play the game. So yeah, although I will never play Arena again. But <laughs> yeah, that's it then. Uh, thanks for coming by, guys. Thanks for watching the series. Hope you guys enjoy your Saturday and uh, see you guys next time. I'm out.